Hey, this is Beth at BethJones.net, and I just wanted to pop in and do a video this morning. Um, I haven't gotten a lot of sleep the last couple of days. You see the circles under my eyes. Um, it might be spiritual unrest. I do have problems with insomnia sometimes, but there's a lot going on spiritually right now, and God may just be wanting me to pray. I saw someone's post today about interceding in the night and praying in the night that God's calling his prayer warriors to pray for the things happening in the earth. Uh, this here election, I just wanted to speak a word about that. I am seeing so much on Facebook and other places about the election. Even Christians that are unfriending each other, getting so mad and angry about who each other is going to vote for. And I just wanted to say that this ought not to be. You know, Satan doesn't have to do a whole lot. If he's using us as believers to tear each other apart and hate each other and have bitterness and unforgiveness and not be friends how on earth are we going to be the body of christ fighting the enemy if we're fighting each other galatians 5 15 says this if you bite and devour each other watch out or you will be destroyed by each other so i just want to say stop it just stop it if you don't agree with someone on who they're going to vote for whether it's trump or hillary then don't don't talk about it it's not worth the strife is not worth the division in the body of Christ. We all have strong opinions about the, the candidates that are running for the United States. I will say that I am not voting for Hillary. I personally believe if you are a Christian, how can you possibly vote for her? Because she doesn't stand for anything Christian. She is very pro-abortion, even to the ninth month for babies. She wants to open our United States up to refugees, to open the borders, to not even have borders, to have basically one world government. She wants to make our, our land a socialist nation. She has did all the things in Benghazi. That she just lied and lied and lied. How can Americans trust her to lead our country when she's lying to us? She, they have a long list of people that have been dead, that have been killed from, from the Clintons. I mean, it's all over the news. And there's just so much more. I believe, I believe she has a very evil agenda against America. And I will not be voting for it. The main thing is she's pro-abortion and she's pro-gay. Everything she stands for is very liberal beliefs that, the, that doesn't line up with the Bible, the Word of God. But no matter who you're voting for, whether it, and I know about Trump, I know what he said on the audios, I thought it was very offensive, I thought it was rude and crude and vile. I'm not, I, I don't want either candidate to win, to tell you the truth. However, Trump is running with Mike Pence, and Mike is a Christian, and I am very impressed by him. He has very conservative views. Um, if you watch his videos on, on YouTube, he is very impressive. Maybe that God's raising up Trump so that Mike can get in an office somehow, so that Mike's helping to lead our nation. And he has done incredible things with his own state. But anyway, whoever you vote for, just don't let your opinion color your relationship with other people, cause division and strife with your family and your friends because that is just what Satan wants. We're supposed to be one, the body of Christ. And, you know, everything that's happening right now, it, it clearly shows that we are in the end times. Matthew 24, 33 says, So you too, when you see all these things, recognize that he is near, right at the door. What things? Today's headlines, today's newspaper headlines, wars, rumors of wars, nation rising against nation, famines and earthquakes, hurricanes, people turning away from the faith. People betraying each other, hating each other, false prophets, and love growing cold. And we see that today so clearly. I believe Jesus is so close to coming. We need to be prepared every day for his coming. Those of us who believe in him as Lord and Savior. So I just want to encourage you today. Stop the unfriending. Stop the hating on each other on Facebook and all this stuff that is not of God. You know, whoever wins the election, and I pray to God Hillary does not win because I believe she has got such an evil agenda.
But whoever wins the election, God is still in control. God is still on the throne. God knows the end of the book. He wrote this book, this Bible. He knows what's going to happen ahead of time. He's not going to be up in heaven having a panic attack. He already knows. He's the king of kings, the Lord of lords, the Lord of lords. He knows everything. He's got it. And so we don't have to be afraid. Are scary things happening right now? Absolutely. We don't have to be afraid, though, because we are in God the Father's hands. We can trust in Him. He is good and has a good plan for our lives. No matter what happens, we can trust in Him. He works everything together for our good. So this is Beth at Betchins.net. Y'all have a blessed and beautiful weekend, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.